Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a virtual hard disk and use it in Windows 10 environment. I'm using a Windows 10 virtual machine to do this task. I will log in with administrator account. Now from the start menu, I will type disk management. Select create and format hard disk partitions. Currently, I have five disks, and all these five disks are equivalent to physical disk. As you can see in VMware workstation environment, these are equivalent to physical disks. From this disk management, I will go to action menu and then create virtual hard disk or VHD. In the location box, I can type in the location or I can browse and type in the file name. I will choose C drive and then the name of the file. And then press OK. For the disk size, I will choose 20 gigabyte. And then I will leave the virtual hard disk format as VHD and virtual hard disk type as dynamically expanding. When I press OK, I expect to see one more disk, and that should be disk 5. First, I need to initialize this disk, so I will select the disk first and then right click on it and choose initialize disk. I will press OK. I'm going to create a new simple volume and that will give me a new drive. So right click on the unallocated space of disk 5 and then new simple volume. We'll go next. The total disk space is 20 gigabyte. I will choose about half of it. That means 102.00. So I will go next. And then it's giving me an option to choose a drive letter. By default, it's choose the next drive letter, which is E. So I will keep as it is and go next. And on this screen, it's giving me the option to choose a file format. By default, it's NTFS. Also, I can choose a volume label and choose the option to quick format or full format. So I will keep as the default and go next. This screen is showing the summary of the simple volume. Everything looks okay. So I'll click finish. A new drive has been created. It's about 10 gigabyte and it has been formatted in NTFS. Now we can manipulate this virtual hard disk. For example, I can detach the virtual hard disk and attach it again. So I will select disk 5 and right click on it. And then I can select detach VHD. So that will make this disk unavailable in this machine. As you can see, disk 5 is not available anymore. I can bring that disk back by going to the action menu and then attach VHD. So I will browse to the VHD file and then press OK. I expect to see disk 5 once again. As you can see, disk 5 is back with the new simple volume. I will detach disk 5 once again. And then I will copy that virtual hard disk from C drive and copy to the physical machine. This is my physical machine and I will paste the VHD here. Now this file is available in my physical machine. I will open disk management so this is the disk management of my physical machine. 
and then I should be able to attach the VHD on this physical machine. So I will go to action and then attach VHD and browse to the folder. And select the VHD file. Press OK. And you can see the disk is available in my physical machine. I created the virtual disk in a virtual machine in VMware workstation environment. I downloaded the file on my physical machine. After I attached the VHD, you can see a new disk here. Also, I see the new disk in file explorer. And this is the new disk coming from virtual hard disk. As you can see, it's about 10 gigabytes. I hope you found this video was helpful. If you would like to receive notifications on future videos, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and set up notification by tapping on the bell. Thank you for watching.